Oh my god, Dorymon is down. Dorymon is down. You got this bad boy, he's going down. There's two. Oh my god. Nice. Look behind us right now. Of all these kites. Look. So many. So many. vlog uh, me and Francis right now are in district 2 and we want to show you guys something really really special for when you're visiting Ho Chi Minh City because this is definitely something that it's unique it's unique tourists don't really come here at all but it's beautiful beautiful <laughs> I've never seen anything like it so look behind me right now you guys can see look at all those kites all in the sky right now look at those crabs over there guys there's one two three four big kites that are crab. You couldn't even count how many there are on your easily hand. Easily two, three hundred. Easily two, three hundred kites flying in the sky and this spot is also perfect for sunset. So if you're looking for a nice chill place to watch the sunset but also do something very unique, I'll pin this location. The link will be in the description below so make sure you check it out because there's no distinct address. No. We're just going to give you coordinates. <laughs> but let's go find a place to sit down while hang out. You can also grab drinks, there's food, and we're gonna buy ourselves our very own kite Yay. and fly our kite. But just this sight ahead of me, take a look. So you guys can see all these kites, okay? How many is that? So many. And the, and the, and the. It goes all around us. See, it's 360. More over here, more up here, everywhere. But um, let's take a walk around, let's go buy ourselves a okay. kite first. Oh, you want a kite? Yeah, we need a kite. So there's a vendor over there. We're gonna go over there and we're gonna see how much it is to buy a kite. I want a cute one though. You want a cute one? Yeah. No black, ask me color. And it's always so, so busy here. But you guys have to check this out. So we're just walking up. There is a whole variety of kites right in front of us. Uh, we're gonna see how much they all are. The rainbow one? Yeah, I also kind of like the butterflies. Like the butterflies. How, you don't like the Pikachu? Yeah, Pikachu! I, I feel like you want the Pikachu. Pikachu! What about the princess? No princess? Whatever your little heart desires, we can get. I don't want either of them. They look tacky. They look tacky? I vote for the butterfly, but I feel like the butterfly is actually really, really bright. Can I bow you, yeah, Em? Tay ah, tay tay con, huh? Okay. There's a Hello Kitty one. I think you might like that one. Nah, I don't want tacky. I want a classy one. You want a classy one? Which might be kind of hard to find. They're all tacky. Yeah. They're by price. So we just gotta choose one, and then Tay will tell us the the price for it. I think this might be the one. The rainbow one? Good night. Good night, Banyu. Jump by it, 170. Okay. Pikachu is 120, so cheaper. Okay, okay. I mean, they look the same build. Tacky. It's because it's tacky, that's why it's cheaper. <laughs> but there's actually so many for you to choose from. Oh, they have a picture on the top that tells you what they are. Ah, I see. So they have the pictures all along the top of these, so you can figure out which one's which. What's going on over here? They're all yelling at each other. Ah, it's the rainbow one. Yeah, by now. That one right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. My god. Be dong, uh, be dong. So, which one you want? You can have a new. Jump by. Oh, yeah, that's 170. Do you want it? Do you want it? I'll split it with you. I'll split it with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, like on the day. Go. 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 Go.
We're balling out on a kite for you guys. We're, get, we're gonna be flying in style. Instead of making, like, having to take all out. Yeah, so he, he's giving us a pre-setup one. I feel like this one's different colors though, right? What? It looks like different colors. Same, same, but different. It's different colors. Is it? I think no, so. it's not. This is a different color. Well, do you want that one? I kind of like this one, but... Okay, John, like it, and I'm going to get the cock and mouth, and I'm going to sit in it. I'm being really annoying. Trans is getting her kite right now. Look at her Asian squat, guys. Oh, is it the same? Uh, no, it's not. It's different. It it's is. different. Yeah, the middle yeah, yeah. color is different. This one's more pretty than the one he tried to give us. Yeah. I'm happy with it. All right, where are we going to fly? Okay, so guys, this is a weird thing in America where I've seen people try to fly it. And on all the televisions and like cartoons, kids are running to fly it. You don't need to. That's, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you me running and trying to take it off. Let's see if it works. All right, guys, we're going to try this. Oh, they're standing on my kite. Oh, don't fall, little man. He's caught in the kite. Look at him. <laughs> so we're going to try this just like they do it in uh, Western movies. You know, they run and they try to take off the kite. But there's actually an easier way, and I'm going to show you guys two ways to do it today. But let's see if the first way works. Oh, it did work. No, I didn't. It's never going to stay up. Ready? Woo! <laughs> That's a terrible way to fly a kite. Okay, try again. Try again. I'll, I need to go faster, boy. <laughs> the Hi. There we go. Oh. What's up, guys? There we go. Oh, my God. It's actually gotten up. Yeah, there's one right in front of me, though. And I'm scared I'm gonna knock it down. Look how beautiful the sky looks. There's a kite right there. Terrible, terrible. I got it, I got it, I got it. Is it my turn? Yeah, friends, you got this. Alright. You gotta take it off though. I got you halfway there. You kinda gotta land it now and try this. Nah, I can do it. Woo! Let's go. Wow, look at the sky. So, oh, so amazing and full disclosure I'm probably gonna name this video kite festival in reality it's not a festival but this is something that happens every Friday Saturday and Sunday families like to come out here they like to spend some time with their kids you guys can see the roads are covered with families and you can buy a kite there and yeah and adults you don't, you know you don't need to be a kid to do this and yeah get the chance to fly your own kite here in Vietnam every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, especially in the evenings. From 4 p.m. onwards, this is where you're gonna wanna be. It's too hot during the days, and you just get treated to an amazing sunset as well. You know this happens every night of the week. Oh. It's not just Friday, Saturday. Okay, guys, misinformation, fake news, fake news. Um, it's just busiest on the weekend, because like people can go. Fox News, you are fake. CNN, fake news. Um, yeah, I know apparently this happens every evening. I'm yeah. just not aware. You just don't drive past here. Yeah, I don't drive past here too often But if you want the sky to be filled with kites and for it to look really nice It's generally on the weekends where there's more kites in the sky, right? Yeah, so but you can do this on the weekdays as well Still the same time around 4 p.m. Is when people start coming out when the heat dies down, but we got a professional kite flyer here Woo! Yeah, she'll <laughs> yeah what is that move called? Pump it. Pump it. <laughs> this is like pump it, release it. Oh, steer it. Oh, you're. Are you tangled? No. Where are you? You're right there. Lady right behind me. Her kite is really close to mine. She knows what's going on. I feel like she's encroaching on my kite. You get that? If they get that kind of like kite tangled, I'm cutting their line. You're cutting their line. Oh, look, just... they, they just crashed as well. Oh, they just crashed. They just crashed into this bike. <laughs> See how high I can get it? Cool. Oh yeah, I, let it, I like that move right there. What is that called? The like jerk? A, it's like a bad gym. <laughs> but look, it worked. I got it higher. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's right, it's right there. Let me zoom in. 
You guys can still see it. She's still up in the air. You're zooming, but I'm pushing it further away. Woo! <laughs> kind of hurts your hands though. So you can also get food. There's a guy here selling ban chang nung. So that's like a style of Vietnamese pancake as well. But great place to get some Yo, Vietnamese snacks. Like oh shit, hey. Oh, Francis tangled us. No, I didn't. Someone's on top of me. I'm trying to and away. Where? It's not my fault. It's someone else's fault. <laughs> You're a straight savage tonight, hey? Where did this come from? I actually just need a little bit of sugar. <laughs> Francis is, Francis, is, Francis is the type of girl, when she gets food and they mess it up, she will not say anything. No. Yes, you are. Now you're out here being a savage. <laughs> I don't like returning food. I worked in hospitality. I know how annoying it is, especially when there's not really Like what happened? Well, oh yeah, you got given... Um, Onion rings instead of french fries. So I was like, all right, okay. And I'll I was, and I was like, no, 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 no. Excuse me. <laughs> she ordered uh, french fries. I, I would have eaten them. She would have eaten them, but she's too scared to say anything. No, I'm just too polite. Unless it's talking about flying kites. What? Unless we're talking about flying kites. Like, get them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you do this? Because this is taking me a long time. Okay, okay. okay. Aww. Uh, My arm muscles are gone. They don't call me Edward Rabbit Hands for no reason. Why are you Ed? No, 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 no. You're going to get a tangle. No, but this is faster. Cause I'm moving, you know. You know what's kind of dangerous about this? What? Uh, that all all these white lines. There's people driving motorbikes through here, though. Yeah. I'm not just getting like sliced by a sliced invisible white line. Doing a good job, baby. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm reeling her in. I'm reeling her in. <laughs> it's like fishing, boys. We out here. Reel it in. Oh, there's a candy post man. I can buy one. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How much? Hi. Hi. Guys, I can multitask. Here you go, guys. Got some cotton candy. All right, but can you put it back in your wallet? So watch me. Don't believe me, just watch. Oh, I'm tangled, though, boys and girls. Oh, disaster. No, 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 we're good, though, we're good. Man, I would be a great fisherman. Like, pretend this was a... Fishing line? A sea bass. This type of fish, right? Huh? A sea bass. That is the type of fish, yeah. yeah, yeah I feel like you would be a bad fisherman because you didn't even know that a sea bass was for sure a fish. <laughs> I am a good fisherman, okay? So I'm reeling in my sea bass. And the, the blue sky is the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> so foolish. Oh, SpongeBob! I'm out. Where's SpongeBob? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. We're crashing. Oh. She losing speed. So I did read online that. Oh sh no 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 no! You got it! You got it! I saved it! I saved it! That's her one. I did read online that um, when kite flying started, they used to think it's because <coughs> um, the heavens and the ground used to be really close, and then as the years went on, the heavens got further and further away. So what the locals did um, up in the northern provinces was they used to fly kites where their belief was that it connected them closer to the heavens and it was like a gateway. Kind of sweet. Killing. <laughs> From there, holding the camera? Yeah. <laughs> that camera's heavy. It's really not that heavy. It's got a microphone and everything. It's like maybe a pound. And it's got a hand. Gimbal. Show me your arms. Come on, flex. Flex. Yeah, boys and girls. One more time. <laughs> Hella strong. Yeah, it's for adults. So you guys don't have to be a kid. This is great, you know? Someone enjoying.
Chị bán nước thì chị. Có menu này Anh trai này kêu em đi nhận với lại Để cho anh menu kìa. Uh, I want They don't have any soda. Oh, yeah. oh. Still no soda. Uh, 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 so funny that she's like so aggressive to her kid or whatever working, but then she was so nice to me. She was like, oh, sorry, love. <laughs> what do you need? I don't know. walking further away from me. I don't know why. He keeps running away from me. I'm not running he away from <laughs> oh my god, you're tangling me. We'd be tangling if you'd stayed next to me. Uh, Thank you. We're in a tent now. This is next to you? Yeah. You're kind of clammy though. I'm kind of clammy. It's hot! <laughs> I don't need to climb on you. Can I climb with you? But they got they got hot dogs. They got fish balls. I don't know what the, what that is. What is that? I don't know. It it kind of looks like rice krispies. No. Green rice krispies. But Christmas rice krispies. Even this looks like the candy. Like what what are those Swiss? They call Swiss oh, yeah. somethings, right? Strawberry. But it's fish. I think. Pretty sure it's fish. I don't like them. I'm not entirely sure what they're made from, but I don't like. But guys, this is just a beautiful sight right now. Right here, all done. Ah, come on, go. All right, cheers. Cheers. We'll find the table. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, eating a chicken drumstick. <laughs> a drum? Hey, you just offered some to me. You're taking it all. What the hell? You want some? Let me just eat it all. <laughs> what the the meat on the bones? The scavenger part. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got Francis Fraser Reed. You ready? This is how you do it. You stand still. Feet firmly planted. Wait, what step is it? Can you tell us the steps? Step five, step four. Oh, she's getting tangled right now. It's a mess over there. Else. <laughs> oh, hitting... oh man, they're having a nightmare down there. Yeah, they're really tangled. I don't know if you guys can see this. They done did it. Do you see that one stuck in her kite? I thought it was a crab. I it was <laughs> that was a crab I in the middle of Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, you never know. Step one. <laughs> Lift your kite up. Yes. Step two. Wants a little bit of slack. There you go. Step three. Kicking it up. Kick, kick, kick. And then you just release a bit. Whoa. Keep kicking it. <laughs> Keep kicking it. Never stop step three. Kick, 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 kick. <laughs> I was just Did it work? I was worried about hitting the <laughs> business is on. <laughs> Motorbikes, they got in my way. At least you look pretty. Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Come, what was that? I was just trying to pick it up. All right, ready. That was pathetic, Francis. Come on. I thought you were a professional kite flyer. I flew a kite like five times in my life. I think I think that qualifies you to be professional. <laughs> Are you okay? Hit me in the head. Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ. Oh, is it working? Oh, there she goes. You don't hold your kite, skip step one. You don't need to hold the kite. Wait, what? You don't need to hold the kite, so skip step one. <gasps> oh my god, look at this dog. <laughs> Alright, but I gotta focus this. Oh, she's good though. She's up. She's up. Wrangle it. Woo! I refuse to get tangled. Flying high. What kind of fish is up there? Uh, sea bass. <laughs> no, that was my fish. <laughs> 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 
tuna. Tuna. For the big gun. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about the sharks. The shark, uh, it this might get your tuna, shark. right? Yeah, it was gonna come and get it. Oh no, there's a shark. There's a shark. But you got some salmon on the line. What if it takes. Oh my god. It's a battle. It's a battle royal. There's two sharks though, Francis. And there's a fish. Oh, there he... Francis, you should have gotten that fish. Got a little child running around. Her father's just chasing her down the streets. I would not be letting my kid run in the middle of the No, street you guys see that? Bikes. You People think, are savages when they're driving. But you think Ho Chi Minh traffic is crazy, and then you add in all the street vendors, then you add in people watching their kites, like they're flying kites, they're not watching the no. road, and people who are driving are also not watching the road. They're watching the kites. They're watching the kites. It is chaos. Mess here, guys. You can see all these strings. They're are, hooped. Are they doing it intentionally? Or? I don't think so. I don't think they meant to do that. Oh my god, Dorymon is down. <gasps> Dorymon is down. You got this bad boy, he's going down! There's two! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this shit! How? What happened? Getting free! We've been stuck for so long in this mess of a kite right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we are tangled in like four other kites in the sky. See, the shark's tangled in our line, we're, but we're all the way out there. All right, guys, thank you for joining us on this vlog. We are in a strip. Oh my god. <laughs> a predicament here. So, we're gonna spend the next 30 minutes trying to untangle our lives. Okay. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> oh, you beat me too. Beat ya. <laughs>